morning, everybody. RV Prepper this Wayne here. Today, I have a 2004 Dolphin built on the Workhorse W22 chassis. We're going to be doing a, a list of things in here. I'm going to break it down into different videos to make it a lot easier to follow. That way, I'm not jumping all around everywhere. The things I'm going to be doing on this is I'm installing sumo springs, new fans on the ceiling, a new uh, hot water tank gas valve, and a couple other things. So let me take you in and, and show you the parts that I've got. Okay, this is the rear sumo springs. This is just one, so that one of them here. This installs a little bit different than the other set that I did on the Ford F53 chassis. But I'll do a video strictly on installing these. Uh, basically, it's going to be the same way on the rear. Now the front is a little different. This is the one for the front. What it does is it takes the original short bump stop out and this goes in its place. So, this one will be fairly easy to install, but that one right there will be a little bit more involved. I'm installing two Max Fan Deluxe fans in the top, and I'm also removing one. There's three uh, vents. So, I'm taking two fans and putting in there and I'm moving the one fan into another spot. This is the hot water tank valve that I'm going to be replacing. This is leaking propane so we're going to be replacing that. And we're going to remove the old style crank antenna. We're also going to replace the antenna. We're going to take the old crank style out and we're going to install this. He also got a, a mounting plate, which this helps cover the hole that's in the top, and he got plenty of sealing, so that for this will not leak. So we're going to be installing that as well. And I'm going to be going over the whole RV, checking everything out from top to bottom. He recently purchased this uh, in January, and he wants it to be ready to go. It also has a backup camera system that's given him a little problem. I've done troubleshooted that and kind of figured that out. I'll show you uh, how I'll be fixing that. There's also two power inverters on here. There's a Xantrax and there's another model. Um, neither one of them seem to be working. So we're going to try to figure out what the deal is. We're going to check the batteries, make sure all the batteries are good, and get everything taken care of that we can. So stay tuned and keep watching for the following episodes coming up of the different things I'm going to be doing on here. Like I said, there's several things that I'm going to be doing that I'll show you in the process as I go along. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. And I will see you all in the next video.